Hello everybody, here we are today talking about the news of the New Jersey Devils hiring Sheldon Keefe as their head coach, so we're just going to talk about that and get into it. So before we do that, please make sure to subscribe if you're new to me or hockey, whatever the case may be. That being said, let's get on into it. So yeah, yesterday the New Jersey Devils announced that they were hiring Sheldon Keefe as their head coach, which comes not long after he was fired by the Toronto Maple Leafs, and he is going to be replacing Lindy Ruff as the head coach, and ironically for a lot of people that aren't thrilled about coaches just getting a lot of opportunities. Both of these guys, ironically, are still in NHL positions as Ruff is in Buffalo and Keefe is in New Jersey. Now, Keefe was fired from the Maple Leafs because of a lack of postseason success. They'd get to the playoffs, but they wouldn't really break through. And then Ruff, the drop-off from two seasons ago compared to this past season was just huge. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But yeah, this is a team that failed to make the playoffs last year. But you do have to realize this side had 81 points this year, but the season prior, they had 112. That was the biggest drop-off in point differential in the NHL from two seasons ago compared to this past season. But I'm going to say there are a few reasons why I feel like the Devils are going to be a bounce-back team this year. And I really thought they were going to have a big year, but there's a few things that held them back. And next season, I would say some of these are going to be better. So they had the fifth most man games lost in the NHL this season, according to NHL Injury Viz. I believe it was on Twitter. Anyway, seeing some of these names, it was like Dougie Hamilton. He was out for a huge stretch of time. Jack Hughes battled with some injuries. Nico Heischer ended up missing time as well. So it was some big names that were out of the lineup in different points in the season. That is not going to be great, especially when you have a top-pairing defenseman like Dougie Hamilton that has this big contract, and you're wondering exactly how you're going to get the roster set the way you want while you're dealing with all these injuries. Another thing, too, was the fact that the goaltending was atrocious this past season as they had the third worst save percentage in the NHL. At one point, it was, I believe, the worst, and then they had a little bit better play. But whenever your goalies are not playing well, that is going to be a huge issue on top of that. Seeing a guy like Timo Meyer, he ended up getting off to a really slow start as I believe through his first 43 games. He had 22 points. His final 26 games, though, he had 30. So he went from being a guy that was about a half a point per game to being over a point per game as towards the latter half of the season, things went well for him. And considering this team was only 10 points back of a wild card spot, I see a lot of reason for optimism because they weren't that far back despite all these things going wrong. It wasn't like they went out and had a 73-point season. I know it's not a huge difference from 81 points, but considering all the things that happened, I would say that this team probably should be in the low 90s for a point total next year. And I would say that by getting Keith being a young head coach we talked about before, this could be a good thing, and we'll talk about my thoughts on this in a minute, but he is young, and if they find success, there is a good potential this could be a long-lasting relationship. Although I'm going to be honest, looking at what we've seen in the NHL in recent years, coaches do not get to stay long in their positions. I think I saw a thing by Bleacher Report Open Ice um, where you saw four coaches that were hired before 2022. So not to say this will be a five, ten year thing, but with the roster they have right now, I feel good because they have proven talent. They have young stars. They have, again, some veterans that could chip in. But I think it's more about the young proven talent because it's okay to have proven talent and young talent, but have the young proven talent like Jack Hughes and some of these other names, you know they're going to be able to contribute. And with them being healthy for a full year, theoretically even getting better as they get closer towards the peak of their careers, you could see, again, this team be able to get back to the playoffs and maybe actually do something. So as for my thoughts on this deal, it's kind of up in the air right now. I think that's kind of the case for a lot of people because Sheldon Keefe did have a lot of regular season success but ended up having a losing record in the playoffs. They only made it out of the first round on one occasion and then ended up getting beat by the Panthers. Now granted, the Panthers are a team that went to the Eastern Conference Final and then Stanley Cup Final last year and are in the Eastern Conference Final again. But this was not a super successful era for Toronto. Now, to be fair to Keefe, the era wasn't super successful even before him, so we can kind of brush that off for a bit, but I do think that they're going to have to have some bigger expectations this year, while I do wonder a little bit whether or not they're going to be in the hunt for the division next year with New Jersey and Carolina having such good years. Again, Carolina probably should be another good year or have a good year next season. And the New York, you know, they probably will still, again, be a playoff team. You would have to think that you're going to have to shoot for maybe the three spot in the division, but I do think you don't even have to necessarily word it if you're Keefe as, oh, we should be three in the division. It should be more of, we should be a top three team in our division by the end of the year. So we are a guaranteed 
team in the playoffs because you get top three spot in the Metro and you're ready to the postseason, whether or not that is winning the division, whether or not that is finishing third, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things as you do still have your chance to win the Stanley Cup. And I do kind of wonder a little bit when you are the head coach of Toronto how much pressure you feel from the outside or even within the organization to make decisions you're not totally comfortable with and maybe you don't get to do things the way you want. In New Jersey, maybe things are a little bit better for him, not to say that there's not going to be pressure because I can tell you right now, New Jersey fans are expecting this team to be able to bounce back or at least hoping they are. And this is a four-year deal. If things go really poorly in the first year despite having guys like Timo Meyer maybe bouncing back and having less injuries, they're going to let you know. And they are not going to be happy to see this deal play out for the full four years. So do I think this goes past the first year? I do. Do I think it goes past the second year if they make the playoffs? Yes. If they fail to make the playoffs in back-to-back -back years, it's not uncommon to see a lot of these coaches getting fired in recent seasons. And I kind of understand why. Because with the Devils especially, they've got a relatively good group here that I feel confident about. And if they are missing the playoffs back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back years, that is not a good thing as you're wasting time with him and you're probably doing something wrong as a head coach. But anyway, what are your thoughts on Sheldon Keefe being hired as the head coach for the New Jersey Devils, almost said Toronto Maple Leafs? Do you think that he is a good head coach as we've seen from the regular season success or do you think that he's been helped out by Toronto's roster in recent years? Let me know all that stuff down below in the comments. Also, please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Everybody stay safe. Hey, have a great night and you go love hockey, all right. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.